So let's start with this first topic, saying no with grace, not guilt. And even though that's in the title, say no with grace, not guilt, um, I'm going to teach you how to decline requests clearly without ever saying the word no. This is my favorite program to deliver. And I think it's because one of the things that is most important to me is that I use your time wisely. I know how busy people are. And the thing I hear about this program is that six months later, people still have the workbook out on their desk, and they're using it to take notes. And they're using it, obviously, not with somebody right across from them, but maybe if they're sending an email to somebody or if they're on a teleconference, they're using the tools to do this. And I even got an email one day from a VP of HR who wasn't at my session, but read my blog and sent me an email saying, oh my gosh, an employee of mine just quoted your, your blog verbatim. I said, did it work? She said, yes! <laughs> I didn't make her do it. I was like, yes, brilliant. So that's the goal. And I'm part idealist, but I'm a pragmatist. I know that you can't say no to everything. That's just not reasonable. So we're going to figure out, practically speaking, what can you say no to and how can you do it in a way that actually improves your reputation?